Welcome to FBXW Sunday Special! With stars are born, I'm Ivana and I'm here with Brick Wigger. That's me! But speaking of me, we have Doc Alley taking on, again, Diana Thorns, the Devil Girl! Yeah, because this little feud between them is starting to, you know, spice up a little bit and we want to see where it goes. And uh, this is going to be something I will take great pleasure in. David Rivera uh, teaming with Scott Adams and going against the current champions, just us. And you know what would happen if they won that match, right? Could you imagine them being contenders? But moving on, we're going to have another oddball pairing right here. You're going to have Kevin. Well, yes, Ro Watson, Rip and Ryan. Rip. Uh huh. That's right. Going against the Lords of all people. Well, I know where the odds lie. Well, I would think the odds lie perfectly in the Lord's favor. Wouldn't you agree? You think, because they are a long-time team. One way or another. And oh, there he is, the man who let the dog go! Exactly. And he, is, uh, he has been associated with Rip and Ryan before. But you've never seen him when he does No, but this is my way of making up more tags and seeing, you know, put two things together, see if they combine to make a compound elephant. I just glanced at the uh, playback, if I would, you know. But I heard that El Tega, really, like, he tried to brandish a weapon for the first time in his career here, correct? Yeah, he did, and it didn't really go so well for him, did it? Well, no, not by the looks of it. it he's always been under the international rule. That's why we should, you know, try and broaden people's horizons. Otherwise, they might be stifled. It's just about giving people opportunity and chances. That's one of the things we do. We give all types of people chances. Because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Well, we might have to get to El Tega in more hardcore matches. Just to give him a little more experience. Because already we've smothered him with international rules. And we may give him a shot at the international belt. But he's got to learn to be more versatile. Oh, yeah. You definitely got to get your feet wet in a little bit of everything, right? That's correct. And Rip and Ryan, he is uh, comfortable with having just his mother on his team. They are the young bloods with one Z. 
they haven't done much, but uh, his mother has been, you know, getting her hands here and there, you know? But he's uh, washed his hands of Jesse. He sees that Jesse has his hands full, so. Here are the two of them, side by side, but not necessarily back to back. Well, I mean, no, if they had them that magical victory tonight, you could see the beginning of a beautiful, you know, friendship, a great tag team. Look at Pete, and look at, you know, the leaping Lord Rob, right? They used to be mm -hmm. enemies. They fought over and the now they're, back and forth. Well, and they're loyal to each other. They had a whole history way back in the original days of FBXW, right? Oh yes, they are two of the longer veterans. And these other two guys right here in the ring, they're all veterans. That's the thing right here in this match. Well, Rip and Ryan wasn't in the old days, but Kevin was. Well, excuse me, I thought Ryan was. Bless him. Oh no, he wasn't, he was, he was a baby back then. He, he was just a little child. Since they've been here though, he's had his like little issues with him. And they've been, like I said, more enemies than friends. You never oh yes. How that'll work when they go and team up against other people. Well, Rip and Ryan did come in the new era almost immediately, but as for the old, different era, different time, it was a different world. Rip and Ryan's mama is an uh, OG from the original, or is she just from? No, the original? she's also new. Just from she the was new. also just a young buckling. Well, I knew when we started, you had some originals and then you had some new ones. Oh yes. It took a little while before I came on. I researched this after you gave me a tongue lashing for not knowing what I was talking about. I did it some heavy research. And uh oh, right off the back, he's got the power oh! advantage. Hip toss. He's uh got dogged determination. Wink, wink. And when he finds something he likes, he bites onto it. And he don't want to let go. Oh, he he wants this victory because. He needs momentum some direction. Losing does not get you anywhere. Oh, and he's not on a good path right now. Oh, well, it's not like he loses all the time. He wins occasionally here and there, but he oh, definitely he does. wants to get to where he wins more than he loses. Like well, he's like an international shot, but yeah, we got so many others that, um, shall I say, are more worthy? Because it's all about earning that shot. I mean, there's Look weekly. Ah. They've had their run-ins in the long, distant past. Ooh. Pete likes to take photography, and he has some some of his work. Oh, there we go. Tag, tag. Yeah, some of his artwork. Time to tag out because he was starting to get worn down. You got to get the fresh man in. And he is a young, fresh buck. And he is, uh, oh, and there's that inexperience working against him. He's lifted up. And what's he doing? Oh, oh, there we go. Power slam, I guess. Uh oh. Yeah, nice quick tag though. Keep the fresh man in. Veterans know what they're doing. Oh, but Kevin could teach this boy a thing or two. Here. Oh, that body drop. Oh, knee to the lower back. After oh no, that not again. Drop. What's he gonna do? What's he going to do? Oh! Boom! Jack's the spine. And that's Hits quite a long the, spine. All of that just wasn't random attacks, though. You see, he hit the back, he hit the back, then he jacks the spine. Oh! He is, the, ro he is the royalty you know of the... what movie's setting up for later, right? Oh, yes, he's going to have that working for him. Yeah, he's setting up for the dethroner, everybody. He just doesn't do random attacks. This guy here is a true vet in the ring. He knows everything he does. Oh, spine buster. spine buster. Spine buster. Once again, attacking the spine. See, the thing about Rob Hallsworth is he doesn't do the promos, but he comments when you least expect it. Yeah, and if you go look at his picture on Facebook, it's a picture of him holding the belt when he was champion. He is that proud that he shows it to the world all the time. He is advertising the Fed every moment he is on Facebook. Uh oh, uh oh! Look at that! It could be all over for him right there because oh youth. no, the power of youth right there. And one, two, two. no, uh. just maybe barely. I don't know. And Rip and Ryan, he's gonna have to think. Of, oh, he's gonna go all the way over there. And look, though, that's great tag. Oh he's no! Tag his partner. That did not Rob work. Was just did he tag him at all? 
No, he tried, but Rob reversed. That was experience. Yep, and Kevin is just shaking his head. He won't. There wasn't no nothing he could do, though. Ryan was actually trying. I'm amazed that they're doing this well, Tom. Oh, yes. I really am. But now, if, if the Lords win this match, they are a step closer to getting a shot. Uh oh, that was a two count almost. Um, yeah, they'll be moving up in the tag team contendership as well. I can see them. I can see them getting those belts if they uh, they got lucky, did their homework, you know. Now, speaking of doing homework, Jeff, we all bring out how to fully put everything together. Jeff they got so great potential when you look at the difference in their two styles and their experience. Once the Lords of the Ring learn to put it all together, they really truly will be a force. Oh! Now, speaking of a force, Jeffrey Albritton, such an eloquent, articulate young man. I am amazed by this man and his excellent performance in e -fetting. I know. He has really been great since he came in. It was truly amazing watching that match. I got to say, probably match of the year, Tom. Oh, my goodness gracious me, yes. And he shows such class. He gave props to those who deserve well, I mean, it. The respect amongst the two men, the history they have, not to mention the competitiveness. You know oh, what I'm yes. saying? And this just that's true professionalism at its finest. This just makes the product better. And I'm just proud to say that I was in the seat of control when Jeffrey Albritton was acquired, acquisitioned, if you will. It was one of the most amazing matches to commentate, though. It was just so surprising. One, Just a uh, one count. It was the back and forth. It was the back and forth. Oh, yes. To the last second. How could you even script something like that? You know what I mean? I don't think you so can. so organic and on the spot. Uh -oh. Miraculous. It's Watch out there, Kevin. Don't give him a slap anyway. Then he doesn't need it. I mean, if you had to program something like that, it would just be impossible to duplicate. I don't know if Dave Bach could program that, maybe. You never know. Yeah, well, I mean, it had to be Dave Bach versus a bot, since, you know, we don't want them attacking. No, I mean, Dave Bach could program the match. I don't know how that would go. Oh! Watch out, Robbie. Oh, my goodness. That did not work for him. Oh, and Kevin didn't realize. And look at that. Well, there's experience. Kevin was pissed off oh. right there. And, and Pete doesn't take it personally. He, he saved his man. Oh! Oh. Pete, he got a little lick He didn't take it personally. Pete doesn't take it personally. That was that was fabulous. I know, right? He, he kept it professional. An accident was made, but he came right back and saved his man. Well, you know, you got a little bit of time. You know, the ref will leave you in there a little while. Might, might as well uh -oh. take the best of it, right? Well, you know, we got to have a little leeway. We can't be too strict. But Kevin has a little bit of an advantage. We got... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, spine buster. Oh, oh a big spine buster. Oh, over the turnbuckle. But Kevin is just so powerful, even though his head got whip flashed on the bottom. Oh, road. this is bad. But he's still in the, he's still in the game. He's fighting off a of pure adrenaline right now, Dolly. He's uh -oh. pissed off after that move. Oh, and there's his finisher. Big running bulldog. Bulldog. And one, two. Oh. Two. Oh, he was my a little God. quicker. Ripper Ryan was trying, but he just couldn't get there. He was a little quicker than the young man. That's all it took. Uh oh. Look at this. Oh. He oh. He missed his. The vet reversed it. What's he going to do? Oh, suplex. Oh, big, oh my, back suplex right and there. And showing off the royal, the lordly mannerism. Showing that he still has it and he ain't beaten yet, dog. Wow. The, Even when they uh -oh. think it's worse than leaping the shines. This is, this is an amazing match. This is, this is like the beginning match and it's actually very awesome. I know, and they're just fighting very hard right now. It's who wants it more? Well, I think, uh... Look uh -oh. at this. He's going to do it Ooh. again. Now, oh, here we and go. Young man's in. I don't know if that was a wise idea. One. Now he's trying to give the pin two. to his partner. Nope. Oh, but the leap in law still had juice, darling. He could do it even without pit. Uh-oh. Now, even though this is a makeshift team, each one would like tag team gold one way or another, whether it's with uh, someone they know or not. Exactly, and when you watch good matches like this, it's really hard 
to not imagine oh! the with gold, right? There's a ripping move. Just uh, should really be watching uh -oh. the guys like Twisting this. that leg in places it doesn't belong. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, did, oh, he got out. Oh. Oh, oh and like around that. he goes. Oh, and back and forth. Oh, uh -oh. my God. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. no. Uh oh that's it. Oh. That's it. Deep One, on up. two. Uh, what happened? I think it was a two count. Well, he, well I was going to say he hit him with no, the No, he got it. it. But still, oh. I couldn't that tell what crazy. happened there. I thought he got out, but no, indeed. No, it was over right there, darling. That was it. He hit him with the reverse deep throw. And into a pin, it. no less. I called it backwards, but it was great. He come out of nowhere with it, though. You saw him a few times. When they but now watch this. Watch this for the pin. This is where I got confused, where I didn't know if it was actually dead. No, I know no, not, not this, this one. one. I'm saying watch for it. Here we go. Watch but this. Reversed each watch other this now. So much. One. Yeah. Two. See, uh, yeah, I've, I've seen those, and they didn't no, win. You couldn't see because the leg was in the way, but it happened, darling. Well, Why else we'll call it what it is. Go? It's a victory for the Lords, and they get one step closer. It's very controversial. It's though, controversial, it all right. Well, we'll take a break. That was an amazing match, though. You're right. They are, well. Congratulations to the Lords of the They took on another team. It could have been, that could have gone a different way. Anger. Hatred. Pain. Suffering. Mental anguish. Heartbreak. These are all things that I live with on a day in and day out basis. Now, here in the FBXW, I look back, I reflect on where I started to where I am now. It started over a year ago that I came, I stepped foot in the FBXW. And you see, my first match, my very first match here in the FBXW was a tag team encounter and who was that guy? Who was he? Who was my tag team partner? It was none other than the FBXW World Heavyweight Champion, the Rugged Rebel. And speaking of the Rugged Rebel, you know, in everyday life, we meet people that make our jobs that much more difficult. They make them that much harder to get through the day. And so much so, as another person that the Rugged Rebel is very close to. I'm talking about the one Mark Kennedy, the one himself. And you see, I have so much built up anger and hatred toward the LS. F B X W. The lethal predator here, the RD, and the man with those four letters, the R D K O. Do not, do not mistake my heat. 
healing of my injuries and the fact that the RD has been a very hurt man but very willing very very willing to defend the titles and the titles that we lost Chris Michaels you had some words to say about my brethren well in due time in good due time you're going to truly find out just how venomous this lethal predator can really be have a nice day well that was quite the creepy uh, pr wait what's going on back oh my oh, god no! i was going to say it looked like an angel with a halo of light but look at that that ain't no angel Oh, there's Larry, the security. He's on top of it. And they caught him off by himself for just a second, ladies and gentlemen, and that happened. And that's what happens when your partner goes exactly. to the loo. Speaking of the loo, Diana Thorne's the devil girl. Yeah, she's... Going against Doc yeah, Alley. Yeah, she's going to have her second shot against Doc Alley here. We're going to see how this goes tonight. I don't know if this is going to turn into a two out of three situation. Exactly. But Doc Alley, tiny thing that she is, beat that lumbering beast, Diana Thorns. Well, yeah, flatter her so nicely. I know. Well, she's not very professional. So. We keep her because well, we might come punching back. No, Doc Alley's yeah, fine. You know, you bitch and Doc. Well, there she is. Raindrops and all. So the last show. She is the real thing on the but... main, ladies and gentlemen. That is for real. Oh, you said that. This is our bringer of rain, who truly does bring the rain. And uh, she is uh, the thing's rare to go in this. Don't know why she want a rematch with her because we had it once. Amazing. The proof yes, it's not just a fluke, not to mention Diana Thorns has demanded her rematch, showing her that it takes a seat back, you know. Yes, I just don't know like, what's with the people that have that rematch is all of a sudden. Everyone wants a rematch. Oh, here we go. Oh, there she is, with her top on. I recognize those eyes in the ass. Yeah. Oh, God, dear. Oh. Sorry, I saw one thing and I saw something scary. Yeah, the brain the brain. Yeah, One thing's the rain and one thing's the rain. There is Gary Diana, as the song suggests. Doc Alley looking nice and confident. Yeah, Doc Alley's feeling on it, percent confident after all, you know, the last match. She's not worried one bit. Uh oh. Oh, not a good, not a good start at all. Then you know maybe she should be worried, right? Uh oh, but she's squirming her way out. Ooh, she's gotten a few scraps in uh, outside the ring, you know. She uh, doesn't always pay off for her. Oh, and just right on the knee, just leaving it there on that pointy little knee. Yeah, if she can break her back, she can stop all those attacks. Ooh. As big as you are, you can't do nothing when you're lying flat on the canvas. Nope. Uh oh, there's a bit of an acro move right there. And, oh, roughly scrambling one. Look what? at that. She's what? just teasing everybody. She's saying, I'm not here to just get a quick victory. I want to hurt and break her. I want to make fun of her. You know, she is mad about I've that I've rarely last seen match. that. That was not called for. 
Well, she wants revenge. You know, you know she's not here to make revenge. Oh! oh. She could break easily, too. She has to watch it. Ooh, and just think, right in the old knee. she went from this light, bubbly personality to this thorny, prickly, you know, personality. You know. I don't know if she was bubbly as much as, as, much as she was just cloudy. Anymore. Well, I'm saying, though, with the member hard gimmick, she had the bubbles and all, and now her name's oh, the yes. ones you don't think it's ironic that she went from a bubble to a thorn that pops it. Trying to say There's it didn't irony. work when I was uh -oh. a little... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. That was rainfall, wow. I think. I don't know. That was just a big a top top rope senton splash. Sometimes Anytime you see a run and splash with the back, it's a senton. Oh! Right into the ropes there a little bit. Senton. And one. one. And nope. wow, not even... Doc Alley does not want to lose. She doesn't want to make this a two out of three. Look at that. Those wants... boots come in handy with a move like that. They help get it. Those boots are made for flinging. Uh -oh. Speaking uh -oh. of the boots. Uh -oh. Oh. And now. She's ready to put now. her away, darling. Here we go. Oh, she's smothering her. Oh. She's flinging her legs around frantically. You imagine, though, if somebody threw a wet blanket over your face and tried to smother you slowly, that's the same feeling. Oh, don't say that. That gets me all anxious. Uh-oh. Whoa! Oh! Oh, my God! She, her head hit the wall after getting hit by the devil. And look, she dared her to get up and get back in the ring. Uh oh And as She's you can see, this is international rules, everybody. Oh, no. Now yeah, they're counting. Is she going to try and win by a count out? That's not a very good way to get a victory. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're not going to win this match outside, ladies. Well, if one of you stays outside, somebody wins. And oh, there you very go. clever. I mean, she didn't really ask for this as much as Diana Thorpe. Wait a minute, she's not playing safe at all. Oh! oh my God. That was nasty. That was, and Diana Thorne's took advantage of it, but look. The she's able to get in. a little ring around the rosy there. It didn't pay off. Uh-oh, here we go, Frank. Oh, good God. It looks and like Diana oh! Thorne definitely has the advantage. Diana Thorne's. Almost had her on a count out, and now she's gonna get a that one. That could be it right there. Two. two. No. Nope. What is Doc Alley going to do? What will Doc Alley do when Diana Thorns comes running and sticking on you? Oh, yep. oh, look at that. Look oh! at that. That was not good. I and know that you thought it was gonna be a Frankenstein at Nope. And Face ooh, type of, right to oh, that wow. tiny little gut of hers. You can't even call it a gut. She's very mean little gut. And look at her. She's getting tired and she knows she needs to put her away now. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my. Oh no! Right there in the thorn bush is nowhere to go, darling. Oh no! Reach for those ropes or something! If you can. But she's a tiny little thing. She's gonna break like a twig. And look, she's got it in. Oh. oh my god. And they're just adjusting the. Oh! Oh, she gets a good. But she must be, like, really in pain for that. Doc Alley's trying to come out and pull something in desperation because she's really tired now. Uh oh, what's she doing? Is she going outside again? What's, uh, don't do the count out business, for gosh sakes. She's just begging at a come well, You know she likes to play mental warfare. Doc Alley would love an easy victory at this point, but nope, she's coming out. She's coming out. Oh, that didn't work out. Oh, oh, she perfectly lured her. And now, what's she, now she's running in the ring. Very classy. Like now I she's going around there. Wait, war, oh, warfare. no! Look at that. Oh, no! That, the ref is... Wow, Lee. Holy hell. You just tell him to get the out. The ref is giving him a lot of leeway here, even letting this continue. Well, that's just nastiness. Well, he's asking her if she wants to continue. 
Dark Alley. Oh, no, yes. no, no, no. Oh. Oh, no. She is just, oh, she's taking advantage quickly, but dear God, I mean. Wow. Oh, my God. And she's exhausted from all that frantic. And now she's got anything left to finish her off. Boom. And boom. Guillotine leg drop right there to the face. She just unleashed every bit of fire she had left. Allie is just sitting here on instinct right now, but... And now it's... Oh, no. And she's just way no, too No, that's going to be all she wrote, everybody. And I don't no. see her getting out of that, no. Come exactly. on, what was that? Their plan went to perfection. You know this was a part of their plan. That was miserable. It was, but at the same time, their genius but what because was she a, won tonight. What was Diane Diesel's motive? Like, for just revenge? Well, I mean, you know she doesn't like Dark Alley, and she's really been starting to get a good friend right here. It seems like everybody wants to have a shot and to be able to face me. Well, I was able to face Steve. And you saw me go toe-to-toe, one-on-one -to -one with Steve. And I was able to prove that I can get the job done on my own. No CR Styles or anybody else, but basically it was dedicated to Mr. CR Styles with Zepro and as well to the PRP. Since he was basically mistreated on his way out and that was uncalled for when I was the one checking up on him more than anybody else including CR Styles himself and everything making sure he was okay so PRP will come back at another time and this whole robot thing this whole robot craze and everything will come to an end and Steve your gift is coming very soon but after the match with that Going into what was supposed to be me moving forward, I went to the crown. People didn't like that I won, apparently. So I basically defended myself and yelled back, but apparently a clown. A clown now. From a robot to a clown, now actually bad mouthing me about me. Not really doing what I should be doing is right. And I'm doing all the wrong things. So, the clown took it upon themselves and attacked me. And then I fought back. And then they seemed to get the last laugh. They're not a contracted wrestler. And that's when Steve, you said that to me. Which doesn't make any sense. But, um, I was able to get the contract. And now we have a clown that was bad mouthing me and putting their hands on me. And they're not a contracted wrestler. It doesn't make any sense. But there will be things to be stopped at right there. Mr. C.R. Styles, I'm sure we'll be able to not only handle the robot thing, but now the clown thing. Make sure nobody else gets to interfere. And when you interfere with me and my problems, well, I'll make sure that there will be a lawsuit for this clown to be over and out of the way. No clowns, no robots, no shenanigans. It'll all be over. But I'm still looking to continue on this revolutionary road of my success of looking to be a champion. F B X W. I'm Scott Adams, and the, you probably already know that by now. But Brut Wigger, Steve, owner of X B X W. I don't fucking give a shit. Do you know what? Right? I demand a fucking title shot. I have been screwed over. I have been fucked around. I have had non-stop idiots get involved in my matches. I have had non-stop idiots thinking they know what they're doing. Well, Steve, 
I demand a title shot. And you know I deserve a title shot. Without me, I wouldn't be putting this fucking company on the map. I don't give a shit about all your other fucking superstars that you got on this roster. I am the roster now. I deserve a hell of a lot more than what you offer me. I came into this company because I saw potential in this company. I saw potential in you as an owner. But you're going to turn out like all the other owners in this fucking core world. An absolute fucking joke. So yeah, you can see that I'm fucking pissed off. Because I'm getting pissed off to the point that I can easily walk out of the company and go back to all the other companies I work for. Hell, I'll go work for that one company that I will not mention that I hate. Now, if you have seen my history, you will know what company I'm on about. I will go back to them if you fuck me around even more. So, Steve, I demand a title shot. And if I don't get it, I'll make sure I get it. So, y'all saw that um, message from Scott. Oh, yeah. And what do you think about Whoa! That? Am I glad I'm not the Steve character? Woo! Well, beyond the Steve thing, moving on, what do you think about that? Well, you know what? He had the belt once, and he should get another shot at it because <laughs> he, he... Wow, let me just say, that promo burned. That was a fire promo. Even though it's a that is the top of photos of the fire we see in people that are listening to the Now as you can see, because he's agreeing to the very controversial pairing up, the administration would like to say so. Exactly. I think that Scott Adams should have a contendership at at one of the kickoff shows next weekend at the Halloween Weekend Special. Exactly, because at the end of the month, we're going to have Halloween, and it's going to be a big show. It's going to be on Tuesday, but either on Friday or Sunday, we're not sure yet. You're going to have the kickoff your shot. Shows. And I think Scott Miner, if he can get past, we're going to have to come up with someone really good, though. I mean, if he's really that full of piss and vinegar and fire, not we need to give him someone good. But we won't say anything, because I want it to be a surprise. Oh, yeah, it's got to be somebody who's never faced before. It has got to be he a has faced a lot of people. Well, he definitely uh, faced a lot of people, so wow. We're going to have to think about this one. The right. fact that you come out here and you agree earlier to come out here and have this tag match with David against the actual tag champions. You know, you can get hell if you can get mad enough to come out here and face them. We'll give you that opportunity and you'll have your shot at gold. Well, look at the Rock and Sock connection. They were enemies. Suddenly, they're one of the more, most popular of the time tag teams. Yeah, now imagine if him and David actually was able to beat Justice and Rock. David is a former champion. Tag team champion with that man there on the mask on his face on the body. The Freako right there beating Chris Michaels. Look at that Titan song. I love those things. I know why it's awesome seeing these guys in the front. Starting to finally find their crew. You see, the shield of justice right there that protects that BXW, their own form of martial law in the front. Well, you know, Reaper has been very uh, defensive of robot life matches, which is a nice gesture. And Rock Roberts, you know, has his own reasons why he don't like it. So, but they can move past it, they can agree to disagree, they can still be a functional tag team. That's amazing. But as long as you uphold the law, you're good to go. Exactly right. And uh, this is very interesting to see. Maybe he's got to look at the law. And imagine how, you know, This is his first taste of David in a long time, you know that, right? 
Exactly. I mean, these are former tag champions, former partners, brothers, if you will, fighting. This is this a the first time I've feud. seen them fight, actually. I know. this. Well, I mean, we've seen them fight a little bit in the past. Look well, at this. Uh-oh. And we've seen the Creeper himself attack Mr. C.R. Styles. Welcome to the X and FBXW, everybody. Wow, he's really going at his former partner. Brothers Rob fight Rob enjoying the show. And Scott um, is I also know, enjoying right? the show. Oh! Oh, it's going in. Uh oh! Wiggle, wiggle! Oh, wow. Boom! And uh oh! First there tag right here. Former oh, heavyweight champ. Oh, one more champ. smack for good luck. Oh, no! Come on now, Creeper! Let's be real. Let's be real. Look, the former world champion right here against the former tag team champion. David, he wanted competition. If this isn't competition, David, I don't know. How do you think is. David feels about this? Is the guy who's now partners with his former, you know, partner? Oh yes, might it's be like a little maybe bit of jealousy. Stole him. This is a man who was going to talk with him about being maybe a manager, and it just fell through. See, people, if you don't, if you haven't been following, oh, like we, like we said, David Rivera used to be partners with Chris Creeper Michaels. Right over there in the corner. Uh -oh. And when David come back, he wanted to resume that friendship, but Chris felt betrayed. And he teamed with Rock Roberts right here. And now he has tag gold again, thanks to his new friend. Uh-oh. And if you think about it, Dave don't have a single friend in that whole ring. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Well, he won a competition, and there you go, David. I gave you what you wanted. Happy birthday, belated her. <laughs> Just saying, gave you what you wanted. Be careful with. Uh oh. Oh my God. Oh. David needs a tag so bad right now. Oh look at that. And look at that, Scott coming in to help. Oh that didn't work. Chris Michaels going up top. You know, you know, Scott really wants to get in right here. He's thinking, come on, has he even got tagged in at Not all? Not yet, he hasn't. He probably wants to get his hands on something. Let's hope this is like Enzo Amore. Oh, look at that. He's trying to get got in. a good hot tag when it. Look at he that. He gets in to get in. I know, right? Oh, my goodness. Now, right here, uh -oh. David needs to go for the tag. Don't. Uh, go for the wow, tag, that David. That was a wasted opportunity. Squandered. He squandered. Well, I mean, David probably doesn't trust Scott, obviously, but still. Well, you got a tag at some point, regardless. Uh oh. Well, look at that, though. He is having a great little comeback. Uh oh, and here we go. And down. Boom. Like I said, emotions run deep with these two. He is just so pissed off. Battling his former friend with his, uh, his replacement brother. in the corner. And somebody who. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, and he stopped it. And you know, even though they're not friends, they're still brothers. Uh oh. Take the opportunity. He's going. He's going to exactly. take it in Whoa, wait. Oh, my God. Wait, what, what was that? Well, if you think about it, Scott didn't break his contract, which you said all he had to do was come out there tonight with David and you'd give him a match, and he did. And now, oh, no. It's like throwing chums Scott shot. outsmarted you right there, darling. Oh, my goodness gracious me. I mean, it was your own contract used against you. Oh, I didn't no. even think about that possibility in myself until it happened because you know. I well, I said Scott was willing to go down there. I didn't say he was willing to actually fart. Well, yeah, you said if you just go out there with David tonight, did that. you'd give him the contract and a shot. And, oh, oh, look at no. that. Now, the tag team champions have David all to themselves. I don't, I mean, look, I haven't agreed with everything with David, but I don't necessarily think this is fair. I think he would, oh, look at that. He's, he just. I feel, I mean, I ain't saying that justice is dirty against him either. It's just. They, he, they didn't control oh this. Oh, my. It's, they did not ask for this. This was just handed to them. Surrendered to them, if you will. Well, obviously, this is, you know, wrong place, wrong time, if you will. And, of course, he hasn't made friends in a while. They didn't like him when he was, a lot of people didn't like him when he was a tag team champion because people are jealous. People want the gold. Some people don't like him. They think he had favoritism and stuff, but despite it, he has been a great wrestler, but it looks like that just nothing is going in his favor right now. Well, David, 
I didn't ask for this either. I, I just put this stuff together and good for you. You're doing a great job of fulfilling your contract. But, you know, we're going to have to really give... We'll give Scott good competition. As much as I hate to say it, we got to give him a break. Hey, I gave what he wanted. I mean, I still don't agree with... I, I don't agree with the robot lives matter. You know, I love Dave Vaught like he's my own son. You just... I know you were in you that like video. You had... You said I was well, no, forced I'm to saying kneel I, for this issue. No, I said I don't agree with David oh, Rivera on the bad. Robot Life's Matter issue. I love Dave Vaught like he's a son. He loves you like a father and stuff, you know. Obviously, we stand on different ground. But I kind of feel bad for him seeing the deck so stacked against him. And look at that. He's still fighting, though. He hasn't tried to run no, away. Give him credit, and that's why, you know, we'll give him a fair shake at Halloween. And, you know, he has screwed Scott over in the past, so it's not like Scott is morally wrong for not standing with Dave on this. Well, hopefully... You gotta force people to work together. Uh oh, you gotta force oh, you make oh my god! Oh, upset time! I know upset this could time. be it right here, but look at that. If... One, two, one, two. Oh Robert my god! Did not want that. And Chris didn't even try to get in and help. It's like he had perfect confidence oh, no, in his new partner. No, oh no! Here we go, another one. Look at that! The extraordinary revolution! Boom! Oh, and his head hits the turn buckle. What's he? What's he? What's he doing? He's going Finally for a pin. One. one two, no. two. Oh, my God. This is not looking good for just us. And, oh. Look at that. You know what, though? A lot of people underestimate this guy. But wait a Check minute. Him out. What if David he is wins? Going Does that mean handicap. Scott him might still be going for gold at some point? Well, you know, technically, if he does win the match, yeah. Scott. Yeah. Scott would still have a shot. Wow, that is a whole nother level. Oh, Look at no. this. Trifecta. I know him and Barney Green are the only guys doing that. And you know right now that the former world champion Barney Green watches every How time How soon do you think that. we're going to hear a promo from uh, David after this match? <laughs> you know. You know Quick the answer to that. But look at this. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Yoink! Uh-oh. No! Oh, oh, his feet no. hits the rope. Maximum impact on the head. One. That's it. Two. Two. No, it had to be. And you know, look at that, though. The Creeper never tried to get involved. He let his new partner beat his former partner right there. The well, end. he had he his fill, right? You don't want to over-stop yourself. Well, no, that was almost like... I mean, he could have really come in there and piled it on David Rivera, but he let his partner, he had ultimate faith in Rock Roberts right there. Well, I guess that's it for that, wow. folks, and uh, I guess we'll see you all at the Halloween Triple Show Weekend. Yeah, we'll see you at the cook kickoff then, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>